Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, today we going to continue for our first hands-on activity for grip generation. Okay, hari ini going to do hands-on one on grip generation. Okay, where and what to download? Okay, this one usually kita akan pergi kepada this Xbeach open source community di mana you can get all the download downloadable punya executable and of course you can have uh, the latest version of the Xbeach but I already uh, include everything inside the Google Classroom you may find it under the Xbeach manual and of course the tutorial example everything under the tutorial, the tutorial section okay and then uh bef as we progress into the tutorial we actually need this type uh, of uh, several software to support us uh, but uh, for example the first one is matlab but you already downloaded the matlab runtime so no need to worry about that and then uh, we already downloaded the dev 3d and of course you should have your excel not pet plus plus uh, the dev 3d um, open earth too but this one we'll talk about it later and of course google earth for you to identify but for next session we're also going to include another uh, software that could call dev dashboard to help you to set up your area for your for your simulation okay okay next uh, number one okay uh, for we now we're going to create grids and depth files okay there are two type of grid inside uh, x -Pitch. number one called rectilinear the second one is the curvilinear and we will create using the Delph uh, ref grid. So I'll, before we start, I just want you to prepare, just uh, make sure your Delph tree is already open. Okay, so inside there, there's a grid, flow, wave, part, water quality, and utilities. But for today's, we're going just going to focus on grid and bathymetry. If you click grid, there are R, G, F, grid, quick in, Dido, and three of it. And today we're going to do the Delph 3D R, F, grid, reference grid. And the file extension will be .grd. The second one, we're going to do the Delph 3D quick in. And the file extension will be .dep. The size of the grid file must be same size with the depth file, yes. And we have two form, the depth 3D or XPish. XPish too if you want to use uh, Excel, but the, the grid form from depth 3D is the one that we create from depth 3D. So the grid, we only going to do X, Y direction. The Z one will be plot inside, quick in, okay. To grid. So let's get started. Okay, so we will do around 15 minutes on the rectilinear grid and around 15 minutes on the curvilinear grid. Okay, so from your depth, you should click on the RGF grid and you will have this. interface okay so just wanted to make it more visible to you guys question number one see here in the reference grid create a domain with length 1000 meter and length 2000 meter with delta x 10 and delta y 10 okay so first of all we need to Operation 
uh, sorry, view, create, uh, create rectangular or circular grid here. Click this one. And then you have the number of grid cell in the M direction. M direction is, uh, is your X direction. N direction is your Y direction. And you have delta X and delta Y. So delta X here, you can put 10. Delta Y, 10. And because the X direction is 1000 meter, you have to uh, divide by 10, it's 100. And what direction is 200. 2000 divided by 10, 200. And you click OK. And you have your grid already. Okay. And then the second one say that uh, check your grid administration. Make sure your one one coordinate is at the offshore boundary. Okay, let's imagine on our left side is the land boundary. Okay. The right side is the offshore boundary. This is land. This is C. Okay, as as we mentioned in our class before, the one one, the X original and Y original, should be from the offshore, from the seaward side. So the one one should be here or here. You cannot have the one original, Y original here or that. So that is the reason why. You need to check first the coordinate before we do the depth. So you can just view uh, operations. So you view. This is a new uh, version. So something has changes. Operation, I think, is in. Grid property, grid property style, yes. Color number. Sorry, grid property. Yes, so sorry. Grid administration, not numbers. Okay, but this one is continuous sheet as well, not numbers. Okay, it will take a while to process because why it will, it will show you. So if you zoom using your mouse, you can see the coordinate of each node. So this is the nodes. So we have four uh, corner. Let's find where is the one one. So I believe it will be down here on my left side so here is my uh, one one here on the left corner so I want this to be I want this to rotate this to the seaward offshore because the input of wave will come from offshore. So this one needs to be rotated one, two, or one, two, three. You can pick, but for this case, we're only going to rotate one, two. So operation. looking for the grid yes grid operation grid rotate with administration administration one you have okay and then you rotate again twice okay then if you go and check back here you can see the coordinate already 
here so it's safe to do that so you don't need to do the number anymore so here you are ready with your rectilinear grid you can file export the file grid 3d flow you can name the file as rectilinear or test whatever you want rectilinear you can see it's safe in grd grid you can just click save and we move on to the next one okay because i already saved it then you can close this one go to quick in click quick in okay in quick in we will do the depth okay file import the grid file that you just save so find the grid file that you just save okay it should be here Generation. So I open it. Okay. And then for this time, you know this one is land. This one is sea. You want to create a longshore uniform depth from minus 20, minus 20 under the water level and five meter here beyond the surface so what you need to do is first you click here that and click on the notes here put five meter okay click okay if you cannot see anything view Death, color, number. So you can see here is 5 meter. Then do the same thing to the most left and most right. It's, uh, the deepest part, minus 20. Okay. So we have Five and twenty. Next, click edit and then that linear. Click on this five. Okay, this is where you want it to change linearly so you don't have to input everything one by one. Click here, the first point, and then click the second point here. You can see it changes linearly from five, four point five, four, three point five, three, two point five linearly until minus twenty. Okay. So you want this part five and then slowly decreasing to minus twenty, meaning that you just need to do the rest the same for each line but it will be very we long you want to do that tedious so what you need to do just click another point here you can put five okay And then edit that isoline. So the isoline mean that if you click this part, the second you can see here it show you the click second death point. So 
click second death point here so everything will be the same that five meter five meter five meter five meters okay next the last part you just need to click edit again that line sweep where it will sweep the same value of this from the left side to the right side you just need to click the second point at the 4.750 then go to the minus 20 click on the minus 20 point so here you go you got everything is it heavy to you click view death continuous shape so you can see the continuous shape and view grid no grid there you go you will have your death file so file import the you can save it in rectilinear.dep file and finish there you go that is the first part of doing the rectilinear so go to stop sharing for a while